PBS, uh, you know, <clears throat> Sesame Street, issued a press release for an upcoming Frontline episode titled Cyber War. Check out this tidbit from their press release. Following the broadcast, visit Frontline's website for extended coverage of this story, including a forum with cybersecurity experts from CERT, Akamai, Symantec, and Sandia Labs who will field questions from viewers. <laughs> wow. Someone from Symantec will sit on this panel? <laughs> Talk about irony! Symantec admits they armed China with cyber war technology from circa 1998 until at least 2001. More importantly, Symantec refused to arm the United States with that very same cyber war technology during that very same period. I doubt this fact will come out in Frontline's cyber war episode. But maybe it'll come out during the interactive forum. If you get to ask a question of the PBS panel, I hope you'll ask, Hey, does Symantec still arm China for a cyber war against the U.S.? <laughs> oh, that's not funny. <clears throat> oh, and uh, guess what? Frontline's Cyber War episode will highlight Richard Clark, ironically, the man at the White House who tacitly approved Symantec's transfer of Cyber War technology to China. Sadly, I don't expect Frontline will divulge this fact either. Michael Kirk, remember that name, folks, Michael Kirk wrote, directed, and produced the Cyber War episode for Frontline. Kirk also wrote, directed, and produced The Man Who Knew, Another Frontline episode featuring Richard Clark. Coincidence? <laughs> oh, it's not funny. <clears throat> PBS. <laughs> Our cyber war coverage is being brought to us by the letter D and the number 7. <sighs> so much for Frontline. <laughs> I'm Rob Rosenberger for V-Myths. That's V-M-Y-T-H-S dot Com. Truth about computer virus hysteria. Be there or be scared.